What happens when you see an actor that you really want to hire, but you don't necessarily have room for them in your season? What do you do then? You hold on to it. And people say that all the time. I'm going to hold on to your resume. I really enjoyed you, but I don't have anything for you. I'm going to hold on to this. And I remember when I was acting for a living, uh, I, I thought, oh, I'm never going to hear from them again. And you do. You know, I mean, you establish relationships. It's a different type of relationship you establish in the callback room than in the audition room. In the audition room, for me, they establish I'm a competent, confident, positive actor. And I'm talented and I can, I'm hardworking and I can do this. In the callback room, you, you really get to see who they are as a person. Because in the audition room, you see who they are as all these persons, all these characters, right? And then you can see who they really are inside. And if they're just a true, blue, wonderful, amazing human being, who wouldn't want to work with that person? So you put them in the folder, next chance you get, you hire them every time. I do that all the time, every year almost. Every year that happens. Well, I think this is really important for an actor. I think have an actor having a website, having materials that I can always revert back to. So I'll always keep a list saying, SCTC, great girl, unfortunately, no spot in 2018. But when it comes to 2019, I go to that list first. And then if I can go to a website to see, oh, here's a reel, remind me of who she was, remind me of how he sang, that's really helpful for me as I'm looking to hire them in the future. That's so hard. That happens a lot. And it, it is hard. I like to try and encourage people. Um, I like to try and help them find the best version of them in the audition room possible. Um, if it's someone that I truly love and I know I will never have something for them, I'll probably let them know so that they don't walk out thinking, oh, I didn't do my best job. I don't ever want someone thinking they could have done better when it's something that's entirely out of their control. Yeah. I usually tell them that. I usually go, listen, you are great, and I so wish I had something for you this season, but please, please keep in touch, and I will keep your information, but I say bug me. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. And, and you know, bug me up to three or four times in a year, I'm good. It's like, hey man, you know, what do you have coming up next season? You know what, thank you for that, because I can't tell you how many times I have hired someone that I really liked, and then in the hurly-burly of the year, you kind of forget and then they message you and go, remember we talked at SCTC? I mean, you know what we did? We did. And I actually, absolutely, take, in charge of your, take charge of your own career. I mean, you know, be proactive. Listen, we were all there. It's not bothering me. The worst someone can say is no. So who cares? In this setting, probably nothing. I mean, and it, and it sucks because, like I said, I'm looking for sing, dance, and act. So I'll see singers that I think, that person's got it going on, but I've got nothing for them until they've progressed in their life. Uh, and it, that is hard because I would love to say to them, look, you've got, you, you, you are on your way, but uh, right, I'm not calling you back, but there's, there's a reason I'm not calling you back. We have a little casting pool, we like to call it, where we kind of keep them on file. Um, and then we also always encourage them to come back and audition for us, um, whether it's through our own personal audition, through our own website. Um, we try to keep in touch with them that way by encouraging them to come back and see us again. Uh, but we do keep them on file. Um, you know, we do have to move on to other, obviously, other candidates that are either right for it. Um, but we definitely have a little bit of a database for those people, for sure. Well, what I would do is I would ask them to come to another audition that we have coming up later in the year. I will probably keep them on file, might contact them later and say, hey, we're, we're coming back to the city, come and audition for us again. A good audition is never wasted. No. If you are talented and you have something special to show, if we can't use you at that moment, we will remember you. And when the time is right, we will call you back or we will recommend you to someone else and if someone else is looking for that type. So don't be discouraged if, if you're not right for the thing that's at hand. Know that when you make a mark, we remember you and we put you in a special file and hopefully we'll either call you back or we'll, when we see you again, we know who you are. Oh, for our organization, they go into a database so that we can hang on to them year to year. We send out emails, uh, constant contact going, we are now currently casting this show, the dates are these dates, and then if you are interested and available, simply respond yes. We put them back on the table, we pull back out their videos, we compare whether their talents still fit. 
we often go, hmm, they've been out now working two years since we last saw them. We have to extrapolate how well have they grown since then and where will they be in that emerging artistry. And from there then we choose the best people who match the roles in the story we're telling. I think it, for us it's about starting that relationship with that actor and just um, creating some type of um, dialogue that says we're interested in you, are you interested in us and working with us and, and really starting that journey with them and, and you know hopefully we get to a point where we do have something that is right for them but it's all about establishing that relationship from the very um, start to say we're interested in what you have to offer. For Disney Live Entertainment specifically, we're casting 365 days a year, which is unique. So often people will come to an audition because that happens to be when they're in the right city for us, or they're in Orlando, or they're in New York. And so they come to one that they may not be right for, and they could get cut early on, anything could happen, but we're filing them away. And then their behavior of how they acted when they got cut perhaps could come into play because they don't always know that they're being kept for a future job. Any audition could lead to a future job down the road, so always be careful of how you react to the disappointment of one job that you perceive to be lost because it could be down the road that you get a very cool gig. If an actor is in front of me and they don't necessarily represent a need that I have in my current season, um, a number of things can happen. One, I may be so intrigued by them as a performer that I call them back because I want to meet them. I want to form a relationship so that I can have contact with them in the future for future seasons. Um, or I may call them back to see if there is some flexibility. Uh, if they have a range that they're not showing me in that audition, maybe there is something in my season after all. Uh, because number one, I'm looking for that spark that is gonna excite my audience. And uh, all of us that are hiring, we know that it's difficult to choose material that shows everything that you can do. And so if I see a storyteller who knows that their material represents them as a performer and shows them at their best, um, I can break out of what I'm expecting to see and become interested in that person as an artist. It happens more, more than we like in this business. Um, part of the problem is we're, we're competing with so many other companies. So you have to call back a number of people assuming that they're also getting called back by 20 other companies. So in some cases you're calling back more than you could actually ever hire. Uh, but if I can't use them, sometimes I want to call them and let them know I don't have anything for you, but I really like what you're doing and I'd like to tell you who we are. So that if you're ever called back again, you know who we are and might be interested in coming to work for us.